Tonight, the man suspected of shooting that Richmond officer has been charged with multiple charges, including two counts of attempted murder and unlawful possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. Yeah, he has a very lengthy criminal history, and our 13 Investigates reporter Bob Siegel has been digging into his criminal past and why some of the current charges that he faces now look so very familiar. Bob? Well, we want to focus on that charge of possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. That's the same charge Lee faced five years ago when police arrested him with both heroin and a loaded rifle in his possession. That very serious firearm charge could have landed Lee in prison for more than a decade, but the Wayne County prosecutor dismissed it as part of a plea agreement, so Lee was locked up for only four years. The plea deal raises questions in light of Lee's violent history, including fleeing from police, trying to steal an officer's gun, biting an officer on the neck, and saying he would shoot any officer he encounters rather than go back to jail. 13 News asked the Wayne County prosecutor to explain the plea decision. So far, he has not responded, so we don't know why he dismissed the gun charge. But the prosecutor in Delaware County weighed in. He said plea agreements are very complicated, but defendants who are habitual violent offenders usually do not get big breaks. Uh, when you're looking at somebody with a violent history, uh, I think it's critical to um, consider the highest charge you can find and you have these repeat offenders that are that offend over and over and over again and those are the people that need to be warehoused they don't need to be out uh, they need to be in prison 13 investigates has uncovered lots of details about the suspected shooter's criminal past you can find that right now at wthr.com